Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's video is a hair video and I am super excited actually because I'm going to be installing a U-part wig. I've had a U-part wig before but it was done for me for a shoot um, but I've never actually installed one myself so I've never tried to like blend my hair in before. Let's see how that goes. So the hair in today's video was sent to me by My First Wig. Shout out to My First Wig. Their hair is like elite, literally like every time I work with them, I'm always just like amazed by the hair that they send to me. So shout out to them. Thank you for sponsoring your girl's video. But yeah, the hair was sent by my first wig and as per usual, it comes in this box and uh, the hair that I got is the Body Wave U-Part wig and it's in 22 inches. So as usual, the hair does come in this little plastic zip case, which is great for storing your wigs when you're not wearing them. And you do also get this pouch, which comes with every order from my first wig. You always get this pouch. Within it is a rat tail comb, some um, clips and some bobby pins as well. They did also give me a... Um, a plastic wig head that you can like fit together that you can use to store your wigs on as well and you also get some wig caps so basically within this box you get everything that you will need to install your wig the hair did come in um that natural like a color which is kind of like a brownie black color obviously because i'm going to be leaving some of my hair out on top to blend in um i dyed this black so that it will match my hair because my hair is jet black um i don't know if i did a good job of dyeing this i feel like i i definitely i feel like i definitely ran out of um dye in the process uh so there may be some like brown bits sneaking in but for the most part i made sure that this bit here where my hair will be covering and blending in um was dyed black as best as possible so i'll show you what the wig looks like so when you get it it will look like this this bit here you are supposed to cut out and this is where your hair will come through and then you cover it over the top on the inside you get two clips right here so that will grip in to your anchor corners and then you do also get two clips right here as well so basically this is super secure and i think you get one at the back yep you get one at the back as well and on the inside you get the standard wig adjusters where you can kind of just like clip it along but you also do get an elastic band how amazing is that so this is one of the the um adjustable elastic bands so the inside of this is basically constructed like a normal wig so this looks like it's going to be super super secure what I'm going to do is uh, take my hair down and section it and try and I don't think I'm going to like do small cornrows. I'm probably just going to do some like plaits, just hoping for the best that my hair stays flat because my hair, well, it was straightened. I straightened it yesterday. Um, so hopefully I can just do like a couple of big plaits and it will lay flat. I do want to go for like a side part, I think. I think I want to do a side part. So I'll probably have my part in like around here. Yeah, I'll probably have my part in like here. So what I'm gonna do is just take some hair either side. I'm also going to leave out the very front of my hairline just to help use that to like blend in um, into the wig. So my hair is laid down. I left my two corners here at the front, which is going to be my leave out. Obviously this bit here as well is going to be leave out. And then I did an anchor braid right here and an anchor braid going along here. That is what my clips are going to grip into. And then I just did two plaits at the back and tied them down. Now what I'm gonna do is cut the excess lace out of this. I'm so scared for this part. I don't wanna do it wrong. Okay, so now that this is cut, that's, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to put this on my head. 
I'm taking this clip right here and I'm going to hook that at the top and then I'm going to take this clip and hook that into the sides and then the same thing on this side okay so those are in place one thing I will know is that the um, the clip doesn't come all the way to the end of the track so my it's clipped in but I've still got like a little bit here that's kind of flappy uh, so yeah just I wish they um, had put the clip right at the edge I actually love the texture of this hair as it is it looks way more natural without like any products or anything in it I think I might end up leaving it like this just because I feel like my own hair will blend a bit better with it as it's kind of like frizzy next what I'm gonna do is just take down my plaits that I did right here my leave out and then I'm gonna take down my flexi rods I don't think they're dry I actually don't think they're dry but I just want to take them down already <laughs> Oh, it worked, did I? Yeah, my flexi rod curls are a big fail. <laughs> my curls are a big fail, like the ends didn't even curl properly. Anyway, it's fine, we can still make it work. I'm just going to find my parting. Actually, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my hair and I'm gonna take a little bit of the um, actual wig and I'm going to flexi rod those together. I was too impatient. I didn't let my hair dry. I'm going to flexi rod these ones together. You could just use um, a wand and just wand curl your hair. But I'm trying to avoid using heat. So I'm going to use the flexi rods. I'm also just going to take just a little bit of mousse. Literally just a small amount. And just run that through some of the... Um, frizzy bits because the hair is kind of like a few different textures where some of it is like combed out literally just like that just a little and i'm going to allow these to dry and i'll be back shortly okay finally i'm just going to take some edge control this is just the gummy styling wax and i'm going to like flatten out my um part because my hair is looking real like bushy and crazy right now okay so this is the final look what do you guys think i love this i think this is so cute and this was so easy to do the longest part of this whole process was waiting for my flexi rods to dry this literally took me 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes to do and it looks like a sew-in like it looks so good and it's so easy so if, if anybody is like new to the wiki game and you don't want to like mess around with front rolls because it seems like a lot of work even if you're like been you've been in this wig game and you just want to switch it up um you're tired of gluing down your lace definitely definitely try out a u part because this has sold me i love this you guys know that i really like curly hair on me so like i feel like i'm just feeling it even more <laughs> but you can also blow dry and straighten out this hair if you want to um it's a body wave but it's almost like it's quite coarse so if you were to blow dry it straighten it it will kind of look like yakky hair that's the vibe that i'm getting from this so if anything it will look even more natural if you were to blow it out but i love it in this state i think this looks fantastical i'm so impressed big big shout out to my first wig they did that with this week and you can get the u part units in um different textures as well i just chose this texture because i just wanted to try something new and i love it let me show you guys the length and also look how full this hair is she's giving you thickness she's giving you body she's giving you density hello <laughs> oh i love this i'm so so happy with this like i said this is the u part wig body wave hair and i got 22 inches and this is a moment hello <laughs> i feel like if you've got shorter hair it blends in a lot better because my hair is quite long it's like you can really see all the way through where my hair is 
um, and I didn't do I didn't do the best job of waiting for it to dry in the flexi rod I will say that but if you've got shorter hair it will kind of just like stop a little bit higher and then you see more of the the wig I think maybe I left out too much hair I think that's what my problem is I left out too much hair I could have definitely gone with leaving out just a thin thin strip um, that way there's less of my hair over the top but what you could do and what I've done is I've literally just taken my hair and tucked it behind my ears on both sides I'm so so happy with the way this turned out I will leave all links and all information to this wig in the description box down below as always I hope you did enjoy today's video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads from me but that's all take care have a wonderful day evening weekend weekday whatever time you are watching today's video take care and stay blessed bye